Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. I have installed Lineage OS here and if you want to install it yourself you can check out my previous videos. So as you can see here we have Lineage OS 17.1. Now so this is just going to be kind of a walkthrough of all the kind of stuff we can do. So I'll record the screen here. I haven't changed anything here. This is kind of like stock lineage OS or unmodified, I mean. <laughs> so I only signed into Google there and installed the screen recorder app because I had some issues with the built in one. So, first thing off, we can take a look at all the quick tiles here we edit. I'll just drag in most of them in because they are handy. So that way we can see them. So overall the experience is very smooth. I have tried this before I did all the tutorial videos and all that kind of good stuff. And I like it a lot. I prefer it over stock ROM. Although there is a few things missing like vibration is not working at the moment and the uh, quick triggers or whatever these things are called, they don't work at the moment as well. So I'll just drag some more tiles into here that we can take a look at and refresh rate. So this ROM does support uh, 120 hertz. I'm not gonna change it right now because the screen recorder might mess up <laughs> and I don't want to start again. So I'll leave that for now. So we can take a look at the settings, sure. So at the top we have network and all that kind of good stuff. I won't really be going through that, but as you can see, I am connected to my home network. It's a five gigahertz network. And you can take a look at the MAC address of this phone and all that kind of good stuff. And then you can share the password using this yoke. And then you can also see the password here, which is handy. So your friends could like type it in, no problem, if they don't have the scanning feature yoke. All right, so that's Wi-Fi, that's mobile network here. Then we have hotspot. And we have VPN. Then if we go into connected devices, this is uh, Bluetooth, Android Beam, NFC. So I'll actually just turn off NFC since I don't really use it for anything. Go into Bluetooth. Uh, it works fine. I've tried it with my headphones a while ago. And then apps and notifications. We can look at all of our apps, which is very handy. You can look at disabled apps, which I don't have any at the moment. Then can have a look at notifications, which notifications you want to allow. Then here you can set the notifications on lock screen. Then there's some other, you can choose a notification light as well. Oh, you can actually have light when the screen is on, which is pretty cool. So this is like the mini light up here. And you can change the de default notification sounds. So we might as well go through some of them. So hopefully you can hear those. I'll actually increase the volume a little bit. <laughs> I 
the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, that's my favorite one now. <laughs> Sounds so stupid. <laughs> All right, so that's the notifications, screen time. I only used it for 17 minutes or so. <laughs> All right, not bad. Uh, default applications, so we can set a default browser app. Uh, Syst app, which is the Google yoke. And then the trebuchet is our default launcher at the moment. I'll be changing that shortly. Uh, let's see what else. Permission manager, so you can change which apps you want to allow to use camera and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, all that good stuff. Emergency alerts, I have never really used that. So I have no idea what that is. Um, yeah, so next is battery. Battery manager here, it's on, detects like badly behaving apps and goods, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's go into display. We'll set the team to dark, because dark team is the best. Adapt to brightness off, because nobody really likes that. Uh, let's see what else is here. Styles and wallpapers. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Okay, so style. Hmm. I'll probably mess around with this later. Bubble, yeah, I'll leave it as analog grid, that's fine. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, screen timeout. I usually like to bump this up to the maximum. <laughs> Rotation settings. Yeah, auto rotate screen should be on, but I'll leave it off at the moment because uh, I'm recording and it might mess up the recording. Colors. You can have either natural, boosted, adaptive. Uh, I like natural. Font size, you can change that if you want. Display size, I'm actually going to change this to small. Full screen apps, you can force some apps to use full screen here. Screen saver. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of the default yokes here, so I won't bother changing those. Lock screen display. You can show all notification content. Lock screen message, you can actually type that in. Uh, hello. So I won't lock the phone because the recording will probably stop if I do that. Then the iconic music visualizer for that comes with lineage where if you have a lock screen on and you're playing music uh, you'll see like bars yeah sure might as well and let's see lift to wake tap to sleep and all that kind of good stuff all right, so that's display. Next is sound. You can change the volume here. Let's see what else. Yeah, all that kind of good stuff. I'll actually disable touch sounds since they're kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, let's see, storage. We can take a look at that. We can enable storage manager. So I have nothing on this installed. Privacy, permission manager. So that was what we looked at before. Uh, yeah, we can disable this showing passwords. Ads, we can opt out out of advertising so we don't get targeted ads. Autofill service, cancel. So I'm just going to ignore that. And so, yeah, that should be fine. Location is fairly straightforward. You have emergency location, all of that kind of good stuff. Uh, security. This is kind of the standard Android stuff. So 
swipe pattern pin and password you can enable fingerprint and all that kind of good stuff accounts is where you have all your google accounts and all that kind of stuff accessibility so you can invert the color if you wanted to power button in call you can enable mono instead of stereo well-being uh, i don't really use this i wonder if we can disable this all right well i think it's already disabled so that's grand google account here whatever all right now we get to the interesting bits the system settings the languages and input so this is where all your keyboards and stuff are and then buttons So this is if you're using buttons, I'm actually looking for, where is it? The gestures. <laughs> um, oh, there we go, system navigation. So we can enable the Android 10 gestures, which is what I like. So go back to buttons here. You can have a power menu. Uh, you can enable like cool stuff here. So when you hold down the power menu, I hope this comes up. You can have screenshot, airplane mode, power off, restart. And you can long press for torch. So when the screen is off, you can hold down the power button to enable torch, which is very cool. Volume buttons can wake device. Oh yeah, and then so when you're doing the volume thing, you can enable it on the left, which is cool, I guess. And then you can swap the volume buttons when the screen is rotated and stuff like that. Uh, let's see what else is here. Edge. What is this? All right, say that's for buttons when you have when you don't use the Android navigation system. So next is the system profiles. You could have silent, vehicle, work profile, or whatever. Status bar, quick pull down. We'll enable this on the right. So, what quick pull down is, if you pull down normally, it'll show your notification, all that kind of stuff first. But if you quick pull down, it just shows you the um, tiles here. So straight away, you know, without showing you the notifications. So that's very handy. Network traffic monitor, I will enable that. That's, I like that. And then I'll change the units to megabytes instead of megabits. We can change the clock position on the left. We can enable seconds, which is pretty cool. Battery, I like it as text. Brightness slider and brightness control. So what this is, if you slide your finger across the navigation bar, as you can see here, I am decreasing and increasing my brightness, which is pretty cool. All right, so gestures, touchscreen gesture, this is when you draw stuff on your screen. I never really enable these because they're annoying. All right, then we also have the updater that we've seen before. So I'm actually going to enable, if you go into here, build number, if you click this a bunch of times, you enable developer options, go back to system, advanced, now you have developer options. So here is advanced restart, and then you might as so this is when you hold down the power button and you press restart. You can either restart normally, you can reboot to your recovery or you can reboot to bootloader. So this is very cool, very handy. If we swipe down here, we can enable ADB, which is always handy. 
we can enable local terminal, which will give us a terminal application that we can use. So you don't have to download one from the app store. Uh, let's see what else is here. Yes, all this is fine. Another thing I like to do is set the animation to 0 0.5. This way everything behaves kind of a lot faster. And then all the other stuff here is just kind of default developer options. So yeah, that's kind of all the settings here. Uh, so we can take a look at this terminal that we downloaded or that we enabled. So do all that kind of stuff. All right. So we actually, yeah, so we have root, so we can just do su. Magisk should pop up. Now we can do ls. And then there we go, we have all our files here. This comes with the audio effects. That's always on lineage OS's. Now, if you want a better one, you can go into Magisk and you can look for Viper effect, Viper for Android. There it is. This one is, in my opinion, better than the lineage one that's installed. And then the good thing about lineage OS, if you like some certain smart launcher or custom launcher, the gestures actually work with this. Whereas before, with uh, with the default Asus stock ROM, the gestures they do not work <laughs> with uh, your favorite launchers, basically. So I'm just gonna get started. Uh, yeah, whatever. Allow, 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 allow. Next. Set as default then I'm gonna have to set it as default again. As here, always. And if I launch up something, as you can see, gestures still work. So I don't know why Asus cannot figure this out by themselves, but I guess this is the power of custom ROMs. So yeah, that's um, kind of what Lineage OS is in general, I suppose. So again, we're on Android 10, Lineage OS version 17. Security patch level is 5th of March. So that's pretty cool. And we're using some kind of stock-ish kernel. <laughs> but yeah, Lineage OS has their own kind of kernel built in. So yeah, there we go. That's Lineage OS for you. It is very cool. Um, I'll try installing Armor Crate later on. See if that does anything, because at the moment the air triggers don't work. And if you plug in your like fan or whatever, it, it doesn't work. Like there's nothing that will spin up the fan. There's nothing that'll show the LEDs and all that kind of good stuff. But like you can still use the fan as a USB hub and as a microphone or headphone jack so that still works fine so that's kind of like all the good stuff or the state of lineage os on asus rogue phone 2 so yeah uh, thanks for watching and bye bye